How's everybody doing? Today's video is gonna be pretty quick and easy. I'm gonna show you how you can make your own dechlorinator at home uh, to make all your tap water safe for your aquariums uh, or ponds, larger bodies of water, whatever you need to do. This is gonna help you save a ton of money and it's gonna be super easy. You're not gonna be running to the pet store all the time, especially if you have a lot of large aquariums, but even if you just have a couple small aquariums, this is gonna help you save a lot of time and money. So let's jump into it. All you're gonna need is the safe, uh, I'll post links for this uh, down in the description. Um, so this is a, helps remove chlorine, chloramine, and ammonia. Uh, it's a Seachem safe product. I buy it uh, one kilogram at a time. Right now it's around $40 on Amazon, uh, which is pretty good. Sometimes it fluctuates in price. Uh, right now it's around $40. And this treats up to 240,000 gallons of water. So yeah, you're not gonna have to buy the chlorinator for a long time. Uh, I go through a lot of water changes for me and my customers, and this lasts me about a year. I always like to date products when I get them, uh, but you're buying this in a concentrated powder to start with. Uh, and then we're gonna dilute it in some hot water, and basically we have ourselves the chlorinator. I've done all the heavy lifting and figured out the math for you guys, and I've been doing this for about two or three years now, so this has been tested and proven. It works for me. I hope it works for you guys. Uh, everyone's a little bit different in their preference and how much the chlorinator they want to use in their water. This can be used directly into a bucket of water that you're using straight from your tap. Uh, you can use it on your python hose when you're filling the tank directly. That's something whenever I'm treating the water, I'll treat a bucket of water for the five gallons or maybe double dose it for 10 gallons of water, uh, depending where you live and how much uh, chemicals are in the water. Or if you're uh, treating your tank as you're filling it, I'll treat the entire amount of water and then I'll treat the additional amounts of water from the water change. So just for a quick example, say I have a 55 gallon tank, I'll treat the entire 55 gallons of water. As I'm filling it, say I did a 20 gallon water change, I'm gonna do a five gallon dose four times as the tank's filling, or maybe a 10 gallon dose twice as that tank's filling, just to get that new water to chlorinate as it goes in, but you do wanna treat the entire body of water before you start. Once you've got your Seachem safe, all you're really gonna need is a container to measure the water. So this is gonna measure in cups and it's also gonna measure in milliliters, which we are gonna go off milliliters. And then I like to use a teaspoon and a tablespoon. Then just any empty container, I like to use a spring water container just because I know it's clean, it doesn't have any juice or anything I have to clean out. But if you have any type of recycled container, clean it out, you'll be fine to use that. And then you're just gonna mix it with some hot water. I like to have a little bit of a larger mouth because that's gonna help me when I'm putting my tablespoons in there, just easier to pour it in there. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'll show you how I make it. Okay, so like I've said, I've already done all the heavy lifting here and done all the measurements. Um, and I always write this down because I always forget it. Um, but four tablespoons and half a teaspoon is gonna give me three bottles of your Prime. So I like to buy a bottle of Prime just to start with. It has all your measurements on there. And then I buy the Seachem Safe in the powder version. And then I know three bottles, one bottle is 500 milliliters. So if I have 150 milliliters, that is this amount of the powder to give me the same quantity of the chlorinator that the Prime bottle has. Basically that just means once you make this, you can read the Prime bottle, figure out how much you need to dose your tank to get the right amounts. Don't worry if that sounds a little bit complicated, it's not that hard. Basically, I like to use a little pipette and two milliliters, which is like one squeeze of the chlorinator is 20 gallons of water. I like to do that for every 10 gallons. I double dose a little bit just to be on the safe end. But basically, let's go ahead and make this. If you buy the Prime, you buy the safe, and then you do the same amount off of the Prime bottle, you're gonna be good to go. So in order to get our 1500 milliliters of water, I'm gonna use this here. An entire thing is a thousand milliliters, so I'm gonna get a thousand, then 500 of hot water. Just helps it uh, mix up better the first time around. So let's go ahead and do that.
Now that we have our 1500 milliliters of water, um, which is gonna make three bottles of Prime, we are gonna now add four tablespoons and one teaspoon of the Seachem Safe. And it's just like a powder here. It is a little bit smelly. I'll warn you guys on that one. But let's go ahead, one scoop. Take your time on this stuff because doing one extra scoop, if you mess up your numbers, that is a big deal. So take your time. We're gonna go one. Three, four tablespoons, and then one half teaspoon. All right, guys, there you have it. I swear every time I do the math on this, I confuse myself, but I am gonna dive in here. If any of you guys don't believe me, you wanna see the math, I'm gonna write it out. But for everyone like stuff simple, like I like stuff simple, this is a $60 value of dechlorinator. We just made three bottles of Prime, 500 milliliters and one bottle of Prime. We just times that by three. So now we have the same dosage of your Prime bottle and there's three of them here. So we have, around, they're around 18 bucks right now on Amazon, call it $20, $60 value, $40 value. I can make like 150 of these. <laughs> so it's insane, it really is. If you guys love the hobby, you need to save money. Um, if you're just buying a bottle of Prime and it lasts you six months, support the, support the company, go buy the bottle. I'm a big fan of them. I still buy their product, the Seacom product. Uh, so I am supporting them, I'm not trying to go under and mess anyone up, but this stuff is super affordable, makes the hobby more possible for some people. And I'm gonna dive in here and show you some of the numbers. If you don't believe me, I don't think you should just watch one video, believe whatever you see. You should do your own research, look into it yourself. Um, but I'm gonna break down the numbers here. And if you guys stick around, I'm gonna show you some fish at the end of the video because who likes a fish video without some fish, right? All right, so if you guys want to skip over this, if you just believe me, that's totally fine. Um, but I want to break down the numbers for myself and for you guys. Um, so basically, going off of the Seachem Safe to, in the powder form, um, a quarter teaspoon equals 300 gallons. So we're going to get one teaspoon is going to give us 1,200 gallons. You get the picture? So now there are three teaspoons and one tablespoon. So one tablespoon is going to give us 3,600 gallons of the chlorinated water. So taking our 3,600 gallons, timesing that tablespoon by four, is, which we did, is going to give us 14,400 gallons of the chlorinated water. Now to get that extra 600 there, we're gonna do our half teaspoon, which is gonna give us the 600 and giving us a total of 15, 15,000 gallons of dechlorinator. And one bottle of dechlorinator does 500 gallons. So we take this number into three times the amount of one bottle of dechlorinator, which is 500 milliliters, giving us the 1500 milliliters and the 15,000 gallons. So that's kind of a breakdown of the math there. Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys too much. I confuse myself every time, um, but I wanted to show you guys the math behind it. Thanks for watching guys. I am gonna go over this and make sure I did everything. If I have any corrections, I'm gonna put a cheat sheet for this in the description below. So go ahead, check out the description. I'm gonna put a link for the safe powder, the dechlorinator bottle that you'll need. And then I will put a little chart of the actual measurements you're gonna use, which I talked about, but I'm gonna write them down in the description. So check those out. 
But if you guys made it this far, thank you very much. Let's go look at some fish. All right, let's check out some fish. Uh, so if you guys are new to the channel, uh, definitely go below, like the video if you liked it so far, subscribe. I am getting close to that 10,000 mark. Uh, so help me out, get to that 10K, I'd appreciate it. But right here we got the Oscar, the Blue Acara. Angel fish are looking pretty good over here. Uh, the one tank I really wanted to show you guys um, is down below, we got some 10 gallons. Just work our way around. Down here, I just added a new female guppy to this tank today and she is really big, ready to pop. Back here, you can see her kind of hanging out. Um, we do have a nice, uh, call it like a tuxedo red delta guppy, just a nice male. Uh, one of the more albino color females, I have them breeding in here, dropping some fry. Uh, we do have a bunch of little babies in here right now. And we got some yellow shrimp. So it's probably a good 20 or so frying here. They're probably about a week old, uh, maybe more honestly. But we'll see if she drops some fry. I want to do an update on her before she did. Look how big and squared off she is. Nice, big, healthy female. A um, little bit older, got that like a uh, cobra pattern to her. Excited to see when she drops some fry, I'll do an update on that as well. I uh, wanted to show her off at something new. Uh, while we're down here, I show you these guppies are doing well. Uh, we got two trios in here, similar color male, and then this male I'm pretty happy with. He's got more of the blues, if it'll focus in for us. I like how his tail is a little bit more squared off, and he's got that cobra pattern, a lot of different color. I like my fancy muck guppies, honestly, it's my favorite. I like breeding for size, health, and color. Uh, so all those things put together, this fish has a lot of those things. Uh, there's lots of babies in here as well. Plants are doing well. Happy with this tank. Wanted to update you guys on these guppies down here. Next thing I want to do is jump upstairs. I'll show you what's going on up there. All right, so now we're upstairs and you guys remember the stock tank, you've been following along, but you recognize a new tank here. Not that I don't have enough tanks as it is um, but here we have ourselves a 20 gallon tank I actually got it from a customer they were uh, getting out of the hobby temporarily so uh, they were getting rid of some tanks uh, so they gave me this tank and some of their fish uh, what I did was I took their fish back with me and a customer wanted those fish so I was holding them until after Thanksgiving so I could bring them over uh, this was one of their guppies they had in their tank and I held on to them Real nice, a uh, little bit of an older male, but really nice color, different than what the things I have. Uh, so I don't know if he's too old to breed, but we're gonna hang on to him. And I tossed in a couple new females in here that are younger, that aren't breeding just yet. So we got four or five females in here, hopefully not pregnant uh, from the stock tank. See if in the next couple months we can't get them mature and maybe get some babies out of uh, some new bloodline for the tanks. Uh, Cause he is really nice. To the, the blue gravel definitely kind of complements him, but he's got a nice delta tail, large body, he swims pretty good. Uh, so I'd like to kind of mix in these strains and I always hate buying new guppies because I hate doing the quarantine process. I hate running medicine through them, uh, buying from different areas online. They don't always come over to my water well. But I knew this guppy was uh, living for a while in someone else's aquarium, it was doing good. Uh, so all the other fish I rehomed and I kept him Gave him some females. Uh, and the purpose of this tank is gonna be a quarantine tank, so I don't know how long this is gonna last. But what I wanna do for my customers is I wanna buy, whether I buy two, three dozen neon tetras or whatever type of tetra or any type of fish, I can quarantine them in this aquarium. I have a hang on filter so I can run carbon through it uh, after dosing medicines and things like that. So I wanna be able to get in a perfect world I want to order some fish online. I want to get 24 zebra danios, 24 neon tetras, some Congo tetras, what, just random names. Um, but I want to get uh, 20, 30, 40 of a certain fish, put them in this aquarium, keep them separate from everything else, run some general cure through them, uh, any medicines they need, watch them for two or three weeks. Uh, if everything goes well, just feed them good, do some water changes, and then I can bring them to my customers' tanks with a little bit more peace of mind, knowing that they're not gonna go into their tank, immediately give their other fish parasites or ick or anything like that. Cause you guys know as well as I, once you're in this hobby long enough and you have a tank running for a couple years or so, 
and uh, while I'm talking I'll show you the stock tank but once you have all that time invested into a tank and you have all your fish doing well they're doing healthy and you just want to add a couple more it's such a pain to add ten dollars more worth of fish twenty dollars worth of fish and then you end up contaminating your entire tank uh, so it's just not worth it for me I, I always hate doing it that's why I don't buy as many fish for myself anymore uh, unless I'm setting up a brand new aquarium uh, so I definitely wanted to get a quarantine tank I want to do it for a while uh, I do it with my own fish but basically whenever I want to quarantine fish I just start a new tank uh, because I just like fish tanks and I always like setting them up uh, setting up a new tank and designing it's a lot of fun for me uh, once it's up and going maintaining it uh, is part of something you have to do but that's not really the enjoyable part uh, actually setting a tank up looking at the fish enjoying your fish having healthy fish that's the fun part uh, so I want to show you this tank I think it's looking pretty good uh, I thought this guppy was pretty cool uh, and you can get cool guppies about anywhere but I think getting quality fish that are healthy and just the the timing of the situation everyone's situation is a little bit different everyone's tanks a little different uh, this kind of worked out for me right now um, maybe I'll set up another 10 gallon tank or I'll quarantine him for a few more weeks and I'll move these females down to one of those 10 gallon tanks and kind of start a new line, new generation, always working on the guppies, trying to get them a little bit healthier. And him chasing them right now, they're too young, but that's a good sign that he's still still got some life in them, uh, which is a good thing to see right now. But thank you all for watching. I think I'll wrap this video up. Got some good information, save you guys some money on some dechlorinator. We also got to see some fish because sometimes I forget to show you stuff because I get so focused on doing one thing. So happy you got to do that. Uh, like I said, uh, go below, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, it's free, I'm almost at 10,000, it's been a goal of mine. I've been doing this channel for six years, I think, 2016 I started. Uh, so we're going into a new year here coming soon. So help me get that 10,000 mark. Check out the description below, I'll have those product links and uh, check out some of my order videos. I'll post those right here on the screen for you so you can watch the old stuff, hop on a playlist. Got hundreds of videos you can check out and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So thanks again for watching, I'll talk to you guys soon and have a good one, happy fish keeping.